think of snakes and the UK isn't normally the first place that comes to mind. With three native species, the adder, grass snake and smooth snake. But one more is established and one of the best places to see it is right here in London. I'm looking for the Ascalapian snake, a species normally found across Western Europe, but has two established populations in Britain, one in Colwyn Bay in North Wales and the other in central London. These snakes, however, are very shy, so I've enlisted the help of Will Atkins, who is a local expert on them. So Will, how did these snakes end up here? Well, one thing we can say for certain is it was nothing to do with the zoo. Um, the zoo is very close by, but the zoo has never kept Escalopian snakes. Um, it's very likely it belonged to, uh, the snakes belonged to some kind of pet keeper who just didn't want them any longer. And against all expectations, they've survived. And not only have they managed to survive, but they've also bred. So they're the only species of non-native snake in the UK that's been proven to, to, to be breeding in the wild. So it may worry some people that there's a load of snakes running around central London, but is this something people should be worried about? Definitely not, unless they happen to be rats. Um, <laughs> if you're a Camden rat, then your days might be numbered, but you know, providing you're bigger than a rat, you don't smell like a rat, no, you'll be right. absolutely, yeah, you'll find <laughs> you, I think, um, you know, you'll be completely out of trouble on this one. They're not venomous, they are constrictors, but you know, they're not big like boa constrictors or anacondas or anything like that. We're talking about maybe a meter to a meter and a half. So yeah, rats, um, they will eat mice, and I reckon probably a big one might even take a grey squirrel. Oh, wow. So they're doing a public service, really, yeah. rats and squirrels eating yeah, those. Absolutely, a, a free service. Yeah. So what are the chances of finding one today? Um, honestly, very, very low, I think. Oh, right, I'll, um, I'll go home. But we've got, well, <laughs> it's reasonably warm. Um, right, so let's give it a shot and see what we get. All right, let's go. Let's go okay. find one. <laughs> Ascalapian snakes get their common name from the Greek god Ascalapius, the god of healing and medicine. The skin shedding of the Ascalapian snake was seen as a symbol of rebirth and renewal. So am I right in thinking that they're, they're not just on the ground, they'll go, they'll go higher up? Yeah, uh, they're the only snake species in the whole of Europe that is at least partly arboreal. So it makes it really interesting when you're looking for them, because you've actually got to be looking in three places. You'll be looking kind of on, the, on the ground, as you would with a normal British snake like an adder or a grass snake. Also maybe in the bushes, and every now and again, possibly, up in the trees as well. Yeah. We've got to keep our eyes peeled today. Eyes peeled 360 in all directions, yeah. So yeah, what, what does the future hold for, for these snakes in London? Well, you know, look around you. They're, they're, they're in a very urban environment. They're not going to go anywhere fast. So, um, you know, my personal hope is that they will continue to survive here um, that they won't spread, but that they will definitely make a walk along the towpath in North London a more interesting experience for a very, very lucky handful of people who might get to get a glimpse one of these um, snakes. But I think, to be honest with you, there's not very much habitat. Um, you know, it may be that some people are taking them from the wild as well, which would be a real shame. Um, so whether they're here in 20 or 30 years' time, frankly, I doubt it. But let's enjoy them while they're here. Well, me and Will gave it our best, but these snakes are and remain elusive. However, I have an ace up my sleeve. So unfortunately, we didn't find an Ascalapian snake in London. However, I've got hold of a captive one just to appreciate it. Now, one of the unusual things of Ascalapian snakes is that the males are larger than females. This is a fairly typical specimen. They've got that kind of browny hue to them. One of the common misconceptions with snakes is that they're slimy, and that's not true at all. They're actually quite smooth to the touch. What gives them that look is the scales reflecting the light, so they're not slimy at all, they're quite dry. Now, I wouldn't advocate the public picking up wild Ascalapian snakes. They're quite shy, they're very delicate, and they can be quite bitey, so it's well worth just leaving them alone and admiring them from the bushes. Will sent some pictures of snakes he's seen. Some of them are pretty gnarly. A lot of the older ones have scars all over them like a Disney villain, probably from hedge trimmers and even rats defending themselves, so these are badass snakes. I find it absolutely amazing that in one of the busiest capitals in the world there's a population of feral snakes. And apart from munching on the odd rat, which let's be honest most people won't mind, there's no ecological upset and they look bloody awesome. Thanks for watching. Which species do you think I should go after next? Don't forget to like, comment below and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, cheers.